meteorologist Mark Molnar as your host for the Weather Show Weather Northeastern. Thank you for joining me. Take a look at the tropics. We got the leftovers here of Chris. It's a subtropical storm or hurricane, whatever you want to call it here, buzzing off towards Newfoundland. So if you live in Newfoundland, Thursday night here into Friday morning, you're going to want to prepare as if it's a Category 1 hurricane with 75 mile per hour winds. The rest of the tropics, the remnants of barrel, not really much to talk about. Some of the models still holding on to the possibility that this system may become a tropical depression. However, at this point, we're not really looking at any development. And even if it does develop, it will skirt off to the northeast here and get caught up in the westerlies. Rest of the tropics, we will watch a tropical wave well off the coast of the Cape Verdes here. We have plenty of time to watch this. Let's take a look at John from Islip, New York, taking a photograph of a sunset after a thunderstorm. Beautiful capture from the other day. Thank you, John, for sending that in. And precipitation totals across much of North America. Monsoon continues out here in the desert southwest and southern plains. Back east here, subtropical moisture here in Florida and the southeast. And look at all the way up the coast here to the northeast. A lot of this will fall during the day on Saturday as a front from the west moves in. Take a look at the zonal weather pattern here across much of North America, keeping those low pressure systems riding along it without getting slown down or cut off. So very nice weather pattern that we are in here. Take a look at severe weather outlook. Main day that I'm looking at here is Saturday. Grasping for straws here, there is only a marginal risk as this front moves in. Syracuse, Binghamton, Rochester, Oleana, Myra, Scranton, Williamsport, State College, Harrisburg, up to the Adirondacks and Catskills, Poconos, and Allegheny National Forest. We may see a stray isolated severe storm. And any that develop could contain damaging wind gusts, but we're not looking at a severe weather outbreak. There you have it with the severe weather. Take a look at the forecast starting off with Friday. Beautiful sunny skies across Pennsylvania, New York, and New England, and New Jersey, southern Ontario and Quebec. High pressure really crusting overhead and we're getting into the 90s along the New York State Thruway. Maybe some of the valley locations around Binghamton to Scranton cracking 90 as well into your Saturday. We bring that warm front riding to the east here and that's going to spark off some showers and thunderstorms likely. Maybe 40, 50, some areas getting 60%. We'll have to watch mainly from 10 a.m. now to 6 p.m. during the day on Saturday. Showers and thunderstorms from the I-81 corridor, the New York State Thruway, and the I-80 corridor as well. So watch out for that. Temperatures reaching the mid to upper 80s, some areas cracking 90, especially those sunny locations along the New York State Thruway into Sunday. Look at this, beautiful, but very hot. The New York State Thruway really baking here in the 90s from Buffalo, Rochester, Syracuse, and Albany. The hottest spots to behold here on this map. Even hotter than some of the areas of Southern Pennsylvania. But most of the areas getting rather warm to say the least. Crystal clear blue skies giving way to haze into your Monday. Some scattered isolated a few showers and thunderstorms do develop in the afternoon, but the main story will continue to be the really big heat here, especially from Buffalo, Rochester, London, Ontario, Syracuse, Albany. Getting well into the mid-90s here for your Monday. So there you have it, hot and humid. Let's get right into the forecast. Extended outlook for my hometown viewers from Binghamton to Scranton's upper Susquehanna region of upstate New York and northeast Pennsylvania. And all points in between, look at this. Friday, sunny and hot, near 90 in many locations into your Saturday. That front moves in, bringing the chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly between 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. Look at that, and maybe an isolated severe into Sunday and Monday. Look at that, your two hottest days into the lower to mid 90s. And then by Tuesday, that cold front starts to approach and finally cools it down. That'll do for this edition of Weather Northeastern. Don't forget to like me on Facebook and MediaMark. Subscribe to me on YouTube and MediaMark. Comment, comment Twitter, WX Northeastern, Google Plus, and MediaMark. Don't forget to visit my website at MediaMark.com and WeatherNortheastern.com.